When fifth grader Taylor Palmer joined the virtual reality club, she expected a textbook lesson plan. Like we would all be doing the same thing and then when we got here she said we're, probably, we're just going to let you do whatever you want. That freedom inspires students at Ocotillo Ridge Elementary as they think up and create 3D models of whatever they want. What is it that you like so much about coming in? The chance to express my thoughts and to show people what I'm going to be when I grow up. Logan now wants to be a programmer or an engineer, exactly the result Raytheon wants out of the program they've created. These are our future scientists and engineers, and we want to help them develop the skill set. We want to help educators understand what we need in industry so that they can be developing these students uh, in a way that you know will work uh, well when they come to the workforce here. The software called Blender, an industry application, is free to schools. Mrs. Murphy applied for a grant giving the class a low-cost virtual reality machine so they can see their designs pop. And they're just rocking it. It's just the light that comes into their eyes is fantastic and amazing when they see their progress and their creation come to life. And on this day, they get to see how the pros do it, literally surfing through their very own designs in Raytheon's high-tech 3D virtual reality screen. <laughs> to the kids, it's just fun, but they are learning a ton about what Raytheon employees do every day. Advanced visualization is a very important part of our design process and evaluation. Uh, so this is important for them to learn this skill set. This is not a quiet class. They're encouraged to talk and collaborate. We go to subdivisions. We learn from each other. Like I sometimes ask Logan to help me to figure something out and then I figure it out and then if someone asks me I help them and it just goes around the class. In fact it's how most of them improve just scratching the surface of what's possible in the fifth grade.